Hey everyone. So it seems like the Prime Minister is going to resign on the 7th of June. I watched her leaving speech just a few minutes ago and actually she did get quite upset at the end and I did kind of feel quite sorry for her because I genuinely feel she's been doing her absolute best to try to make Brexit a success and everything that she's done. But... Uh, I, I don't know if she's actually done enough. I mean, she's certainly tried her best, and I think everyone would probably agree with that. I, I don't know. If negotiating with the EU would probably have been better left to professional negotiators, whereas, you know, she may have, may have been a very good Prime Minister, but perhaps she got too involved. You know, perhaps she worked too hard, almost, to try to make Brexit a success. And that may sound silly, but she talked about compromise. Well, part of compromise is actually letting other people do the kind of work that they're experts at. Anyway, I uh, was looking at The Guardian here. So, uh, Theresa May has bowed to intense pressure from her own party and named June, or sorry, the 7th of June, as the day she will step aside as Conservative leader, drawing her turbulent three-year premiership to a close. Speaking in Downing Street, May said it had been an honour of my life to serve Britain as the second female Prime Minister. Her voice breaking, she said she would leave with no ill will, but with enormous and enduring gratitude to have the opportunity to serve the country I love. And yeah, she did tear up at the end here. The Prime Minister listed a series of what she said were her government's achievements, including tackling the deficit, reducing unemployment and boosting funding for mental health. And this was one of the big things that David Cameron was really interested in. I know obviously a lot of people are saying that the universal credit has been an absolute disaster, especially for you know, people with disabilities and things. And I think it was designed to be a disaster. I think it was designed to reduce the amount of money people get. I mean, one of the big problems with it, <clears throat> without going into too much detail, was that you actually get paid monthly and you have to balance your own books. So, for example, if you rent a house, then you have to pay the rent yourself as opposed to the government paying it to the landlord. A lot of people have become homeless, and I think partly the reason is universal credit. I think it's been a bit of a disaster, but still, Theresa May was pretty good on Europe. She could have been a lot better, I mean, let's face it, if there had been a better negotiator in there. Or if, like I said, Theresa May had just left it to e expert negotiators, maybe we would have actually got a much better outcome. And if the Prime Minister had, instead of trying to push her particular deal really hard, had kind of stayed a bit more impartial. Maybe she would have had an easier time of actually getting it through, or getting through some kind of deal. Anyway, she's going, it looks like, and it looks like Boris Johnson perhaps is going to be the next Prime Minister. But if we look down here, it says, the former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is the, for is the front runner to be Britain's next Prime Minister, but more than a dozen senior Tory figures are considering throwing their hats in the ring. In the Cabinet, Rory Stewart has already said he will stand, whilst Jeremy Hunt, Michael Gove, Penny Morden, and Saj Sajid David um, are all likely contenders. I think probably Boris Johnson will get it. It's a shame Jacob Rees-Mogg isn't actually going to put his hat in the ring, because he just seems like um, a very smart guy who would actually do a very good job. I, I've got mixed feelings about Boris Johnson, because I quite liked him as London Mayor, but I, I don't know, he hasn't really done much recently, and I think he's made some bad decisions. So, for example, the when he was um, talking in Syria, for example, about the, um, the woman who was there who got arrested, Boris Johnson said that she was a um, journalist, I think. But, but anyway, he kind of put his foot in it, and he kind of actually made life more difficult for this woman in a very kind of difficult country. So... I don't know, maybe he'll be a good Prime Minister, maybe he'll be an embarrassment. I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, a few years ago I might have supported him more. I still think Jacob Rees-Mogg, who probably won't even run, I mean he's a backbencher, would be probably the best choice, but who knows. But yeah, that's mostly it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a massive thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, give this a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down it's up to you entirely 
But uh, yeah, please uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. And thank you very much for watching.